Good afternoon, everyone. Be a little bit patient with me. I'm trying to finally got two phones that work. <laughs> so now I'm going to try to do the live. Just be patient with me because i got to figure it out on Instagram because I don't really know how to do a live on Instagram. It's following the steps of my daughter. Okay, let's see. It's, oh, I got to turn the camera around. Okay, it says I'm live. <laughs> All right, I got Instagram there, Facebook here. God is good. I just want to tell y'all the struggle I've had with trying to get Instagram live. I went and bought a camera, a phone yesterday, because it seems like the phones have the software to do the lives. My tablets, my desktop. I got two tablets, tabs, desktop, laptops. They they won't go live. So, I was stressed over trying to find something else to go live. So, the Holy Spirit said another phone. So, I went I, I went on a uh, Facebook store. bought a phone yesterday. The software is so outdated. It wouldn't even let me go live. It would bring in Instagram and Facebook, but it don't have the live button. Tried to update it. It wouldn't update. Kept saying something was wrong with the Google service. I threw that thing in the drawer. I got a lot of stuff in the drawer, okay? So, Holy Spirit said, after about an hour or so, I'm sitting there watching TV. I'm just like, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired of trying to get Instagram live. So, he said to pull out all my old phones. He said to pull out all my old phones. And I know none of them work because they were dropped in the toilet or they just died or wouldn't recharge or something. Two of them were dropped in the toilet. So, I go in there. Pull them out in faith. I got to walk in faith. We got to walk in faith always. So I went into my drawer, pulled out all the, the old cell phones. He said, plug them in. I plugged them in, gave them a little bit charge. One came on. I couldn't believe it because that was the last one dropped in the toilet and it really emerged into the toilet. Stayed there a minute. And my grandson dropped it in the toilet. Then he told me that it was in the toilet. But anyway, I knew that was destroyed. But let me tell you, when you got purpose in your life, the devil going to come against you. You can bet on that 99.99% .99 he's going to come against you. So that's what he's been doing with Instagram Live. He's been coming against that. Don't know why, but I, he's been coming against it. So with that being said, this is the phone I'm now using. But it's a little trick to it. Hey, hey, hey sweetie. It's a little trick to it. The phone that I have that the Holy Spirit showed me to, to plug it up and charge it. It came on, but you can't unplug it. If you unplug it, it goes right on off. That's okay. I can station I can station everywhere. It stays charged, plugged in, and when I'm ready to use it, I use it. So the next thing I had to fight with was trying to get it onto a tripod so I can use two two phones positioned the same way. Look. When it come down to God and what he want to do, he'll show you how to do it. So the Holy Spirit showed me how to, to hook these gadgets up together. So now I got them facing because one was going to have to be here and one was going to be over here. I can't keep going like this. I got I got neck injuries from that last accident. I ain't no going back and forth. To th I'm like, Lord, this is not going to work. So the Holy Spirit showed me how to hook it onto the tripod. So now I got two phones on one tripod. That God is good. When God is in it, he's going to give you the plan. And he's going to show you how to do it. So anyway, now I can go Instagram live, but I got another guy. He he was supposed to sell, sold me a phone Friday. He said when he get off at 3 o'clock, he would call me. But he had a car accident, a very bad car accident where he's in the hospital. See how the devil, see how the devil do stuff? He do not want us to do God's work. He really don't. Defius, those, those high cold soldiers, soldiers, he know we're going to tear his kingdom down. Um, um. Um, Pastor Shirley Caesar has a song called Satan, We're Gonna Tear Your Kingdom Down. That's my favorite anthem. Satan, I'm gonna tear your kingdom down. You done did a lot of hurt and pain and damage in my life. I'm gonna tear your kingdom down. <laughs> That's my agenda. Definitely after he killed my grandbaby. Oh, we are, we at war. I'm at war. I'm gonna snatch a lot of souls from Satan. You snatch one from me, I'm gonna take a million from you. Stop playing with me. Because I am I'm in I am called by God. I didn't call myself. I didn't anoint myself. God called me and anointed me for this purpose. <laughs> when I was younger, you could have never told me I had all this in me. 
but God is good. God is able. Hey, nephew, my sweetie, my son. Hey, cuz Kimberly. Kimber Kimberly. Oh, okay. Okay, Kimberly. Um, I'm going to minister today. I'm going to minister on jealousy. Because that's what the Holy Spirit want me to minister on today. I'm going to come out of scripture with it too. Because it's scripture toward, um, about jealousy. Let me put some glasses on y'all. Y'all know I can't see them blind as that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. God, I push my way through. I don't care what my obstacles are. That's what we got to do in life. We got to push your way through. These two dirty. I don't got no... no. Alright. You got to push your way through obstacles. Because if, if Satan, against, Satan fighting against you in something... Hey, Dave. Satan fighting against you and something. He's not fighting you for no reason. He's fighting you for a reason. <laughs> it's purpose in that. I want y'all to, to learn the word purpose. Because we want to have purpose in everything we do. Everything we do, we want purpose in it. So that's my new word for this season. Purpose. You know, God sometimes will give us a word. And it's just to, to, to minister to ourselves. And that's my, the word he gave me for this season. Purpose. I'm walking in purpose. No more playing around, no more idling, no more doing stupid stuff. I'm walking in purpose. No more no more sinning. I'm walking in purpose. Because let me tell you about sin. Sin will keep you, keep you from your destiny. Sin will block your destiny. God will still use you though, but you'll miss your blessings when you're walking in sin. I've missed a lot of blessings. They've been delayed. They've been held up. But I'm coming after them. I'm, getting, I'm keeping my life in order. It's nothing out there worth keep coming against God because my spirit grieves when I do do it. My spirit grieves when I do do it. I, I have a serious conscience when it comes down to serving, serving daddy. So okay, I'm going to come out of this scripture. James, coming out of the book of James verses 3, 14, and 5. 3, 14, and 5. When we're talking about jealousy, I need to talk about jealousy because jealousy is a lot of this murdering that's going on out here. A lot of this envy, hate, and jealousy. That's what, that's what the murdering spirit is attached to. Jealousy. Envy. Hating your brother. Hating your sister. Because she's prospering. Because she's doing good. But you'll get so jealous over that. You'll, you'll try to take what she got. And in that you might murder. Take what he got. And in that you might murder. Murders, the murder spirit works amongst the jealousy spirit. Which is not of God. So let's read. It says James 3.14. Hold on, y'all. Hassan, are you on Facebook? Yeah, this is Facebook. I'm trying to figure out which one is which. Okay. Um, I'm coming out of book, the book of James, verses chapter 3, verses 14 and 15. It says, but if you have bitter, bitter jealous, jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not, do not loose and be false to the truth. This is not the wisdom from above, but earthly in inspirational and demonic. You hear that? And demonic comes from hell. That don't come from God. Because God wants you to be happy for your brother or your sister when they prosper. And God wants you to be a cheerleader for your brother or your sister when they prosper. Because in your cheerleading, it might break you through. You might, you ever heard somebody say, well, they got that, I need to touch that. I need to touch that. They didn't get jealous. They just wanted to touch it so they, it can fall on them. That grace can fall on them so they can have it. A lot of people, like with me, a lot of people get uh, um, jealous of the anointing on my life. Anointing? Because God is using me. You're really jealous of that? The devil is a liar. But that, that be the man-made call people that's calling themselves or people that done sinned against God and they lost their anointing. Then they get jealous when, they, when another anointing one come in the house. They get jealous. You see jealousy in the church? Nothing but the devil. Jealousy is not of God. It said right here, it's un, it's, un it, it's unspiritual and it's demonic. That was um, James verses 3 and 14 tell you that this, it's not of God. It's not of God for you to watch your brother. If anything, if you watch your brother doing good, attach to him. He might bless you. Attach to them. You ain't got to come up against them and worry about count their money and, and, and get that green-eyed devil on you and you want to snatch what they got. Because in a lot of that, a lot of people get murdered because of the green-eyed jealous de demon. They come up against, they come up, they sit there and plot a plan how they're going to get what they got. And then, and then sometimes they come up against them and they might kill that person 
And then that's and in that they kill themselves. Because a lot of people that might commit murder or whatever, they get a, a spirit attached to them that torments them. They don't get no rest. They don't get no peace. Unless they got a, a, a serious cold heart. But if you're a child of God and you do some stuff like that, you don't get no peace. And they ain't say that God won't forgive you because he don't forgive. He forgave the murderer. He forgive the murderer. But he'll forgive you, but you got to come and ask him to forgive you. You got to repent. Because it, it happens. It happens. Like say for instance, I know a guy, he had a fight with a person, but he was trying to protect a child. A child that was being molested by his stepdad. He had a fight with her. He had a fight with the man when he caught him. The man, hit, um, he got, he overpowered the man, gave him a good punch. The man fell down, hit his head on the fire hydrant. Died. That's an accident, but it's still murder. So just imagine the person that that, that murdered him, how, how he walked around. If you're a child of God, he's getting tormented. But you got to repent of some of the things that happen. Some of the things that were happening in our lives, we get, we learn it from our family. We learn it from our parents. Like, say for instance, um, um, and it, it, it don't even have to be of you. What you sit up under is what you learn. If you sit up under these guys, talk my son down, oh, man, he got this, he got that, he got that, man, I need a little bit of this and that. I, I can't stand him because he act like he knew because he done got blessed, whatever. He act like he knew. Maybe he knew that you would become against him. Maybe he felt that in his spirit that he need to walk away. And sometimes, like with me, when God gave me blessings, I shared it with a lot of people. And the same people, when they saw me go through my drought, wouldn't even give me a slice of bread. And I, I've shared thousands and hundreds of thousands with people. And they wouldn't give me a slice of bread. I didn't take people on massive shopping sprees and filled up their refrigerators and their cabinets and took them clothes shopping and all this stuff. And when I when I became needy, they wouldn't they wouldn't offer me a slice of bread, bread or a slice of butter to feed me and mine. So with that being said, God has taught me a lot in that. Because you'd be surprised who's sitting back watching you, envious of you, waiting for you to fall. Jealousy is not of God. You block your own blessings. You block your own blessings by being brother, your sister, being jealous of your brother, or your sister, because they being blessed. Not only that, if you if you read the Bible, it says that we have worms that attach to us. Job Job had worms that ate up all his harvest and and destroyed his money. And I've had those worms attack my finances, take my finances from a hundred something thousand to zero instantly. Take my health from being in good health this year to barely can walk next year. I've had those worms. They call canker worms, caterpillars, locusts, and palmer worms. They come and eat up your blessings. And God will release that upon you if you're jealous of your brother. And you can be stacked up almost close to what he got. Jealous of your brother or your sister. You can lose it like that if God blowing your money a lot I blowing your money or blowing your blessings. You could be sitting up on the hill doing very good, got millions in the bank account. But if you become jealous and envious and don't want to be a blessing to people, got to blow on it. Got to blow on it. Not only the, the um, jealousy spirit is a canker worm to your soul. To your soul. You might be jealous of that person, but look what it's doing to you every time you see that person being prosperous. Being blessed. Going forward in the things of God. Going forward in the things of taking care of his family. He could take care of his family so good and all that. You get jealous of that. And you'll, you'll, you'll affect your own heart. You'll mess up your own life. Because jealousy is a canker worm to your soul. Worms eat up stuff. Maggots, whatever. They don't, they don't, a maggot don't go in the fruit just to sit there. It's eating the fruit up. The maggot don't go into a piece of meat and just sit there. It's eating the meat up. So just imagine a canker worm or a worm or what kind of worm in your body because you're jealous. And you know what comes out of that? Jealousy? You know what comes from jealousy? Cancer. Cancer is a spirit that can be attached to you from murdering, from envy, hate, and from unforgiveness. So if you're walking in any of those, it don't even have to be in your family, but it can attach to you. A lot of cancers you hear is inherited from the family because someone's offended God so bad. In former days, we might not even have met that person. But he offended God so much or he murdered one like Cain murdered his brother Abel. Cain's generation was cursed because of that jealousy that he had for his brother, his own brother. 
cursed his whole bloodline. When God kicked him out, put the mark on his head so nobody would kill him. Because God wanted him to suffer in what he did. Because Abel suffered when he killed him. God suffered when he killed his beloved son. That's why they always say you got to be careful who you put your mouth on, who you touch. Because your mouth and who you touch in the wrong way can put a curse on your life. Jealousy is a curse that will come upon your life. And not only will it come upon your life, when God, if you make God so angry, he'll send it generations down to the fifth generation. To the fifth generation, that means your grand, your great-grand, you, your grand, your great-grand, your great-great-grand, and possibly into your third great-great-grand. That curse go all the way down if you offend God so bad. That's what generational curses is about. People that offend God so bad that he said, I'm going to curse you all the way down to your bloodline. You don't never want an angry God like that against you. You don't never want an angry God like that against you. You're talking about a whooping and it's a lifetime whooping. Once an angry curse, uh, uh, a heritage curse come on you, it's a lifetime whooping for you and your generations. It takes someone like myself. Now, I know we had a curse in my family, and I had to come against it. Because it was it was, it was was evil. It was pure evil. I had to come against it. You don't see it now. You don't see it active now. But someone, and I know who did it. I can't call it out because I'm on live. I don't want nobody to know all that. But someone way back, I met the person. But I, I, thought, she, I thought the person was evil, was a witch. I thought that person was a witch. So, hi, hi Justice. I'm talking on inherited curses and jealousy. The je spirit spirit of jealousy that is not of God and bring curses on your life. So anyway, with that being said, the person that brought the inherited curse onto our, our lives, they did something so bad that God cursed us down into the bloodline. There's no family that's going to go uncursed because some of us are attached to Cain's to Cain's to curse. But then every now and then he'll bring someone like me or you or whatever that has the blessing of God on us. Now, I have a big family. I, I'm surprised that I'm, I, I'm one of the ones they call the minister. But I always had love in my heart. I've always been a giver. I always try to help people. I always, if, if I saw you struggle, I'd take you by your hand and help you. There's no jealousy in me. There's no jealousy in me. Because I'm the type of, if I, if I find you lacking or whatever, I'm going to grip a hold to you. And I'm going to try to take you to where thus saith the Lord. Or I'm going to try to be the blessing that God called me to be. So there's no jealousy in me. Um, don't say that Don't say that you can be pure and Satan don't try to creep up. But you got to rebuke him. That ain't me. That ain't me, devil. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. you gotta, sometimes you got to talk back to that devil. That ain't of me. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. So with that being said, I came out of the book of James, verses 3, no, chapter 3, verses 14. I'm going to read it again because it needs to be known. Jealousy is not of God. That came straight from hell. It says, but if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast and be, and be false to the truth. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't try to pretend that you're something that you're not. Because it, it, it'll unclose itself. That little evil, wicked heart that you're carrying in your heart, it, it can't hide. It can't hide. It's like a mask you put on your face. You put on your face, and then at night, you got to take the mask off because you can't breathe with it on or whatever. It'll fall off eventually because it's not you. So don't try to hide behind it. It, it. Your wicked heart, your heart is wicked. It's just wicked. Jealousy is not of God. Then it says, this is not the wisdom from above, meaning from heaven. That ain't of God, but earthly, un inspirational, and demonic. I'm telling you right there, earthly. God just sits high. The devil, this is this is what he rules. He rules all this. So if it ain't coming from heaven, then it's coming from the earthly and it's demonic. It's not of God. It's pure evil for you to carry that in your heart. So with that being said, I also gave you the example of how jealousy can block your blessings. You might have got a lot of blessings blocked because of your jealous spirit. Or you treated your brother wrong or your sister wrong. I remember one time I had to go to someone that treated me so bad. Treated me so bad. Hated everything I did. Um, you know how that the, the person act like they're your friend or whatever. Love you, whatever. And then as soon as they start seeing some blessings in your life, they hating you behind your back. And they speaking against you. P 
people can speak against you. So you got to tell that devil, I send that back in the name of Jesus. You got to start talking to those things that people spoke against you because they wasn't happy for you. They was evil and jealous. So that's attached to you. You wonder why you can't go forward because of the words that evil people done spoke against you. So now you got to curse the curse. You got to send that back to the devil, the blood of Jesus. I send back every curse word on my life and my children's life. I do that often. I plead the blood of Jesus over them. And I send every word back now. I reverse the curse. Because you'd be surprised who's sitting up under you, Judas. Judas was up under Jesus, had that jealous spirit in him. He, not only did he have a jealous spirit in him, he had a gluttony spirit. So they paid him 32 coins to, um, to betray Jesus, 32, 33, something like that. But to betray Jesus, he found that word. He hated Jesus so much. He hated the anointing on Jesus. Like He hated the call that God called him. He hated that God picked him, chose him. And that's one thing about Satan. And you got to remember, Judas, Judas was part of Satan's crew that was sitting up under Jesus. You'd be surprised who's sitting up under you that's, that's from Satan. So he was able to be used. A person can't be used unless they already had the evil intent in their heart. Like I said, some things come over me, I, be, I rebuke it because it's not me. I don't have that in me. I don't belong to Satan. So you got to know who you belong to. You got to know who you belong to in order for you to rebuke to rebuke evil when it come upon you and that's one thing about um like when judas set up under jesus could you imagine every time jesus did a miracle every time somebody jesus blessed somebody every time somebody received something from jesus how mad and how brewing he became just watching jesus being blessed because you know when somebody bless you you pray you thank god for them you thank god for them you praise god because he sent that blessing into your life so just imagine you constantly being a blessing to someone and the, the enemy sitting right up under you hating you. Jealousy. Jealousy. The canker worm in their soul. Don't let their canker worm be your canker worm. So that's why I say you got to be careful who you sit up under because spirits do attach. So if you sitting up under somebody, say for instance, I don't, I don't get high, I never got high. Don't never really care for that. But if I sit up under a person that do that, I could eventually start doing that. Like, um, I would sit, I would sit, but that marijuana and all that stuff, drugs and stuff, I wouldn't do that. But I would drink some. So, met a person that, and that's what they were into. Next time I know I'm drinking, I'm drinking more than I normally would. Normally I probably drink a bottle of wine or something about three or four times a year. Now I'm every weekend. That's how spirits attach. You sit up under them. I'm a good person and everything. That wasn't an evil person. But when you sit up under evil, you don't want to drink from their cup. You don't want to drink from their cup. Because now their cup become your cup. And you look at you wondering why you changing, you changing. This is happening. And the music that we listen to and the videos that we watch, why it's change, it changed you. It's, it's a spirit. It's a spirit of attachment. It will attach you. And you can have a pure heart. Get up under a jealous person. Next thing you know, you starting to listen to what they saying, and you starting to become jealous. Then, and, and, and Satan can use you. He can take you from what God has called you to do and use you for his mess. You ever seen a person? They plot against robbing somebody, and they go rob the person. They they came together to rob this person. That's because he was setting up a. Now he, my phone acting up. It's cutting in and out. Facebook. Stay with me though. Now he's starting to act just like the person that he's sitting up under. You got to be careful who you sit and feed off of. Who you sit up under, what you feed up off of. Sit up under some businessmen. Watch that attached to you. That's a blessing spirit. Watch that prosperity attached to you. Sit up under someone that's positive. Next thing you know, you're talking positive. Sit up under someone that's encouraging. Next thing you know, you'll start doing that. What you feed up under is what you're going to feed off and what you're going to put back out in the earth. So you, 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 you sit up under a person that's jealous and hateful, you're going to attach to that. You're going to attach to that. You might have to come from, like a lot of times people wonder why I don't sit up under everybody because I watch your spirit. Your spirit ain't right. I'm not sitting up under that. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want nothing attached to me unless it's godly stuff. I'm a helper. I'm the salt. People watch us. I am I am I'm I'm a chosen chosen by God. I'm not supposed to sow anything but godly stuff. 
I'm not supposed to sew anything. Now, I ain't say you know, you, you know, you know how you, you mess with the the person the wrong way, they might tap you. Because I got a warrior annoying in there. So don't complain around because you might get tapped. That's, and, that's, and that's one thing. I, I always did this when I was younger. I was the one who beat, beat bullies up. I never understood why I did it. But if a person came around me and they were messing with a, a person, next thing I know I was fighting them, beating them up because they was messing with a person. I had that anointing on me, to a protective anointing like Moses did. Like Moses, when they saw him beating up, um, when he saw them beating up on his 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 his, his race, he became he came, became defensive. I do that. I do that. If I catch a bully, I'll fight a bully in a heartbeat. I don't know why, but it's in me to protect. I protected my family. I protected my life. I protect people that I could see you, like the stuff that be on the buses and stuff. If I see that, I'm gonna be fighting, cause I'm a protector. I'm a protector. God put put that in me to protect those that can't that can't help themselves. So you know, it's, it, so even though even though I walk in positivity, if I see that, that's positive to me to protect, help protect somebody. It's also positive to me if I see a homeless person. I know they're homeless because you got these little crazy people out here now with these pa papers all folded up in their pockets and they pull them out when they get to the corner. I don't play with that. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not blessing that because I know you're a manipulator. But if someone's out there that I really feel that need some help, I might, I'll buy them some food. I might give them some money or whatever. Or I might escort them to somewhere. You never know how God will use, use us. But that's what I'm talking about, the power of positivity. If if you if you jealous or whatever, that's not God. But helping someone, that's godly. Helping someone, being there for someone, covering someone, that's godly. But if it's on the negative side, it ain't nothing but the devil. God ain't pouring no negative out in the world. Let me say that again. God's not pouring any negative out in the world. And even to down to getting, getting, um, getting an angry God against you, he don't whoop you. He open you up for Satan to get you. Because mind you, he covers his children. Do something wrong. Then he'll take the shield of protection off of you. And you look up, you're getting whooped. So with that being said, you, we just got to be careful what we're doing, what we walk, and Make sure your, your seeds, you're sowing a good seeds, not bad seeds. Anything that's opposite of good is, 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 is from the devil, not God. So if you jealous of your brother's your brother's blessings, your sister's blessings, oh she just got a house, oh I gotta get me a house, oh she thinks she this or she thinks she that, no she just blessed, he just blessed. They walking in the things of God and they getting their blessings. And if you feel like, and if you feel like you walked in these things, you probably need to repent. <laughs> get on your floor, get on the knees, get on the knees and ask God to forgive you. God is a forgiving God. But let me tell you one thing, don't play with God. Because if you ask him, if you repent and you go back, then you make your, 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 your whooping harder and longer. So you got to be careful. If you ain't ready to repent, don't repent. Because like I told you, cancer's attached to that unforgiveness and that jealousy spirit. And um, cancer is attached to it. Inherited curses is attached to it. And... Uh, it was just, the murdering spirit is attached to it. How many people, how many of y'all on this line know somebody that got jealous of somebody and murdered them because they had, because they was being blessed? How many of y'all know this? So y'all know I'm not, y'all know I'm not talking out of myself, because y'all know it exists. That's what's going on out here in this world, that murdering spirit, that spirit of jealousy and envy. Killing your brother because he got he 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 got blessed. Killing your brother because he found a good envying your brother because he found a good a good man. Envying your sister because she found a good man. If you don't envy, then your portion will come. But if you envy, it holds back what God has for you. If you hate and jealous and speaking against your 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 person's blessings, or even come into competition with your brother or your sister, that can cause you some problems. Because competition. It's not a God. That's jealousy. That's envy. You got to be happy to see someone being blessed. See someone prosperous. Seeing God use somebody. You got to be happy for that. You can't just, you just can't hate your brother or your sister. Jealousy is not of God. It's, it's, it's a canker worm to your soul. 
it's a canker worm. Just imagine, um, just imagine, oh, oh God, I'm trying to think. Well, before I got here, I don't think I had it. I'm not really a jealous person, so I can't say I had that. I'm not a jealous person, I'm a helper. So just imagine, okay, let's just say Judas, he was jealous of Jesus. Every time Jesus did something, that canker worm in Judas was killing him, eating him up alive. A canker worm to your soul. You can't find no peace when you're being hateful over your brother's blessing, your sister blessings. You can't, you can't find no peace in that. That's tearing you up all day, all night, even in your sleep. It's still me. You know your brain really don't shut down by your sleep. It's still doing stuff. So just imagine if you got a jealous, hateful, evil, evil spirit in you. It's tormenting you more than it's tormenting that person that probably don't even know that you hate them. How many of y'all have had the, the friendly, the friendly, envious person up under your life? I'm sure a lot of us had that. I've had it so many times it's ridiculous to see someone say that they're happy for me and that they want to compete against me. Competition is not a guy. God ain't told us to compete against one another's anointings. God ain't tell us to compete. Oh, she got a house. I got to get a bigger house. Oh, she got this car. I got to go get a bigger car. God ain't told That ain't God. You're supposed to be happy that your, your sister or your brother are getting blessed. So just imagine if you, if you can want to compete against that, then you being tormented mentally all day. All night till you figure out how you're gonna get what what you want that your brother or your sister had. And now either you're gonna you're gonna start speaking against it, try to block it. Oh she I remember when I left home, I left home eighteen? Eighteen, nineteen? Eighteen. I think eighteen. And someone said, You'll be back. I've never went back home. I've been on my own Woo, almost 40 years. <laughs> 38, 38 years. I've been on my own 38 years. Never had to go back. But they was trying to curse me. But when you bless, bless, God will block the curse. When you bless, bless, God will block the curse. And for some of us, the curses that do attach is because we got doors open. We got something that God's not pleased with or God just allowing Satan to, to have his way so you can see who he is in, his, in, 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 in our lives. But a person that's walking around with jealousy, envy, and hate, that's the murdering spirit that's working out here. That is the murdering spirit that's working out here. Now, I don't sit up under drug dealers and all that stuff, but look how look how divided they are. There's it, enough drugs out there. There's enough addicts out there. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that that's a blessing. I'm just saying, just look how many of them kill each other. For what? For what? For what? Why Why would you hate? <laughs> yeah, we all do, Kimber. <laughs> it's called Judas as they sit up under us. But blessings, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I send that back to the pit of hell where it come from. Separate from them. That's what the Holy Spirit says. Separate from them. They don't care. I don't care if you're my family member, you're my child, whatever. If I find out that you don't like me, you're walking in the spirit of jealousy, I don't want no parts of that. I, I disconnect from you. And if you're my family, your friends or whatever, my kids, whatever, I have to pray now. Because I can't separate from that. That's part of my bloodline. But I'm going to pray about it. And then with that being said, a prayer woman avails much. You never know what you're going to go through. So Kimber, my dear, pray against them. And you might have to come from under. That's why I don't deal with a lot of people. Because my anointing causes me to get a lot of attacks. And the blessings that God has bestowed upon me cause me to get a lot of jealous people in my life. In my life. So I'm very aware to stay away from a lot of people. I don't care who they are. I don't care who they are. You know what they say, cut your grass. I don't care if it's your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, your daughter, your son, your boss. Sometimes you got to cut the grass. Because they're not spitting nothing good towards you. They're spitting all evil. And, then, and, then, and like a lot of people are annoying in their mouth. The, the word said, be careful what you say out your mouth. Because it can manifest. I don't care if they're not walking in God or nothing. We come with our with our gifts in us, whether we use them immediately or 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 the devil take come and take it and use it. We are we come with our gifts. So with that being said, a, 
a person that's not walking in God, if they got the gift of, of speaking things into existence, it can happen in your life. So if they if they use it for the bad, say for instance, oh shit, like someone said, you'll be back or whatever. They was trying to curse me, but pre some people are gifted where they can curse. Thank God that that one wasn't gifted. <laughs> Thank God that one wasn't gifted. But say for instance, if I was to turn, cause I got the I got I I I can speak things into existence. If I was to Satan was to ever get a hold to me and turn me, I could curse people. I can curse people with my mouth because my mouth is gifted. But thank God I'm not on that side. I'm on I'm on Jesus' side. I ain't about cursing no, nobody. I curse the devil and his kids. So, oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I'll turn back a curse in a minute. But the sword is double-edged. Two sides to a sword. Send the sword my way and I'll send it back straight to your neck. So that's the only, that's the only curse that I'm sending out. It's say it's cursed to say. And otherwise, I'm just I, I I speak blessings over people. I try to be encouraging. I try to be uplifted. Um. Uh, Brian Higgins, the Holy Spirit got on me this morning because of you. Thank you. <laughs> told me to stop doing my lives looking any kind of way. If I'm gonna call in the woman, the classy woman back, I have to stick get my classy back on. So thank you, Brian. Okay, now I gotta do all this every day. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. Blessings to you, my brother. Um, um, so with that being said, jealousy is a canker worm to your soul. Jealousy will block you. Jealousy will make you sick in your body. Jealousy will jealousy will jealousy will cause sickness in your body. Jealousy will abort the plans of God. God jealousy will have Satan store all your blessings in his in his vault, and you can't get him released. Wonder why you can't go for it because you're jealous of your brother. Wonder why you can't receive this because you're jealous of your brother or your sister. Wonder why you feel like you got a noose on your neck and can't go for it because you're jealous of your brother and sister. Do you know that Judas, once he betrayed Jesus, he hung himself? That's the noose I just talked about. The noose around your neck. Don't hang yourself. Take that noose off your neck. Ask God to forgive you. And ask God to take anything that's not of him out of you. Because you're a child of God. You shouldn't be walking in jealousy. You shouldn't be walking in hate and envy. You shouldn't want to steal your brother's wife. You shouldn't want to steal your girlfriend's husband. That's jealousy. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't, you shouldn't compete with your sister or your brother. Because they just got blessed with a, uh, with a house or with a nice car. You should be happy for them. Be happy for them and you watch. Yours will come next. Jealousy takes your blessings, blocks your blessings, takes your health. It mentally, you heard the word say of a reprobate mind. That's jealousy. God will turn you over to your own enemy. You look at me, you going crazy. Because you hated your brother. Look at Cain killed his brother over jealousy. Because he blessed God. He blessed God greater than what his offering was. So he killed his brother. You see, that's a perfect example of the murdering spirit that's out here. And let me tell you this, because I, I get this asked a lot. People say, well, if they're Christians and they go to church, how come, how come they got killed? We have to be covered. If you don't know how to cover yourself, you have to be covered by somebody. We have to have a covering over us. <coughs> and, that, and a lot of times that's the man or woman that you're sitting up under. But if they out there doing stuff and their life ain't clean, then God might be might not be answering their prayers because they not they not walking in alignment. So that's how Christians can get killed or whatever because they are up under the wrong spirits. Like um those that were sitting up under Saul, just imagine what happened to their life once um, God took Saul's anointing. There's a lot of pastors and preachers out there that's not anointed no more. I ain't said that they wasn't. They're not no more because jealousy. Saul became jealous of David. So he wanted to kill David. David had to run and hide. Me. A lot of a lot of a lot of ministers or whatever become jealous and anointing on my life. So I have to go run and hide. I'm, I'm a David at. I'm a David at. And that could be on your life and a lot of things. You have to watch. You have to watch. Be a, be a watch over your own life. That's when you go in these churches. These churches, if you're under a covenant and the pastor's not um, covered by God, 
then now you got yourself open. It's sad. It's really, really sad. It's really sad because a lot of people are getting affected by these fake and false pr prophets and preachers and ministers that, that lost their anointing or called they self. Now, you can tell how um, a person has lost their anointing. If they praise God and you don't feel the energy in the room of God entering, they don't, they, they don't have no anointing. If you come into a church and you can't feel the spirit falling, no anointing there. Don't stay there. Don't stay there because then you're going to sow your tithes and your offerings and they're not going to get blessed. God blesses God blesses the righteous. So if the minister or pastor that you up under, he's not under the cover, he's not he's not covered by God anymore. He doesn't have an anointing or walking in. You're wasting your money. You're sowing seeds to dead to dead soil. It's not going to reap a harvest. And that's the same thing when you're sitting up under these pastors or whatever. If if, if you're not sure, watch the if you don't feel the anointing. If it feel like a dead house, it's a dead house. How many of y'all went into a church? And you regret that you went there because then you ain't getting nothing. It's a dead house. God is not with them. God is not with them. And those those people that work in those dead houses, when someone like me come in, they get a, they get jealous of my anointing. That's what I had to experience a lot. A lot of jealous preachers that didn't have the anointing anymore or wasn't called. And then they see a child like me come in and, and, I, and my praise can break the sky. <laughs> my praise... Will bring in this, the, the the anointing. They hate that. They hated that about me. They hate it. Or then they want to come try to touch me. Try to rub some of the anointing off of them. No, don't touch me. I know what you're doing. You got to be careful what you're sitting up on. You got to be careful what you attach yourself to. Spirits jump and leap. That jealousy spirit is no joke. That jealousy spirit no joke. And then it will curse your life. Curse your life. Curse you down to your fifth generation. No. I don't want my kids to be cursed. I don't want my kids to be cursed. That's why I don't sit up under anybody. I don't feed up off of anybody. Because if I walk into the wrong anointing and it attaches itself or the wrong spirit and it attaches itself to me, then I got to worry about my generation. I love my kids. I love my kids. That's one of the things I always constantly looking at in my life. I don't want to get my kids cursed. I don't want to get my grandkids cursed. I don't want to get my great grandkids cursed. I don't want to get my great 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 grandkids cursed down to the fifth generation. I got to keep my life clean. Y'all got to think about that. What you walk into can affect your children. Jealousy. Nine out of ten, a person that has jealousy in them, someone sowed that seed into their life. Their grandparent or their grandmother or their mother had a lot of jealous spirit in them and it attached to them. You hear like the gossiping spirit. Gossiping ain't nothing but jealousy. <laughs> you jealous because your sister getting blessed. You jealous because your bro brother getting blessed. Or you talking about him because you trying to you or you trying to say things against them. You always gotta send word. Hey, this should be a practice of of you children of God. Send word curses back once a month. I send every word curse against me back to send a Nolan boy. You have to do that. Because like I said, son, we are born with our gifts. Now whether God use our gift or Satan use our gift, they can, if Satan is using the gift, they can come against you. So you got to keep yourself covered. You have to keep yourself covered. You got to make sure you're not jealous of your brother or your sister because then now you got a door open for Satan to come in to make you sick, to take everything you got, to block your blessings, and to make you so envious that you might hurt somebody with that jealous spirit. You see a lot of, um, like these TV shows, and they some of them, like 48 hours or whatever, you sit there, you see them, they, they hated they bro they hated that guy before they killed him, because he had something they wanted. It's just nothing but jealousy and envy. So that's why I'm talking about the spirit. This spirit caused a lot of mayhem out here in this world. This spirit is in charge of the murdering spirit, jealousy and envy. It's in charge of the murdering spirit. Now, let's go back here. You hurt somebody, you murder. You can not only, you don't have to always physically murder somebody. You can murder a person's spirit. I've had that. I've had a girlfriend I took care of so, when she had kept having heart attacks, I took care of her so good. Then when she betrayed me like Judas, it broke me so bad. I've had it from church hurt. 
that's a jealousy spirit, murdering spirit. It didn't kill me physically, but it killed me spiritually. Where I walked away and I didn't want to minister no more. You don't, it don't always about, be, be about physical death. It could be about spiritual death. And that's just as worse as, as um, physical death. Because God said, touch not my anointed. But you don't know who anointed either. You don't know who anointed. Cain did not know his brother was anointed. So when he killed his brother, he cursed his own life and cursed all his kids. His generation. I, I, we're going to talk about Cain a little bit deeper. Because Cain is, Cain is the father of all this murder, spirit of perversion, all this e evil out here. He is the father. He's the one that got cursed in the Bible. The first person that got cursed in the Bible. All his bloodlines causing all this mayhem out here. But we're going to come back to that maybe tomorrow. I'm going to sit down and, and, and pray over that. But with that being said, I just wanted to tell y'all. Don't hate your brother because he's getting blessed. Don't hate your sister because you're getting blessed. Don't hate your don't 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 let hate. Don't let Satan use you with hate. And it's like, um, let's just start praying against the murdering spirit because that's what's active. That's the hate, envy lead to the murdering spirit, whether it's physical or, or or spiritual. How many people have hurt you so bad? He didn't kill you. They didn't kill you. But you're so messed up. And you feel you just so messed up. You got to forgive them, but you can't let that be your burden. You got to forgive them and, and walk away from it. That's not your portion to to un, to be unforgiven because you can't be a child of God and not forgive. And you can't be a child of God. And you might have said some things against them. You can't be a child of God and not repent either. So you got to repent. But that's what the, the murdering in the spirit realm would do. You hold on to stuff. You're not dead. But you're walking around like you did. You got so much anger and hate in you. Because it caused me anger and hate. It caused me where I didn't want to minister. It caused me a lot of stuff. I had to, I had to, I had to rebuke, rebuke myself from that. Because that's not me. That's not me. People instill stuff, spitting poison in your life. Come up under you and bite you. And you don't know what to do with that. Forgive them. Repent. And move on. Because God is, um, jealousy is not of God. That's what the scripture just said. Jealousy is demonic and it's not coming from heaven. So you don't want to walk in that. You don't want to walk in that. And if you see it, like I remember I had to minister to someone because I saw, I'm used to people becoming jealous of me. So when I see it, I had to minister to someone and talk them down out of that. Because you're going to curse your own life. You might have to do that with some of your friends and family or whatever. Let them know. You can curse your own life being jealous of my blessings. You can hurt your own self and your kid, your bloodline being jealous of what God is doing with me. That's not of God. You got to tell them it's not of God. It's not of God for you to be jealous or envious. It's not from God. The um, book of James, third chapter, verses 14 and 15 tell you right here that it's demonic. It's not coming from heaven. So when you see somebody, you, you can see the green-eyed devil when it's falling. You can see it. You can smell it. It stink. You know demons stink. You ever get up under somebody, you know they clean, but they stink. A demon working in it. A demon working in it. Demons don't have no pleasant odor. They stink. I don't care how pretty they look, how much they dress up, how much perfume they on. They got a demon, demon ruling them. It stink. Come right over come right over the perfume. You want to say, what is that smell? Oh, that perfume and that thing don't go together. You think it's the chemistry in the body. No, it's the demon in the body. It's the demon in the body. But you know when the green eye, when the green eye devil is rearing, you see it. It can't hide. It can't hide. I'm going to say, wait. That's why the Steve Harvey and them, they say, wait for your mate. Wait, give him about three months. Let the mask fall off. It can't hide. Because that's how crazy it is. It cannot hide. So when I see the Spirit working, I'm even going to talk you down, diffuse you, or if the Holy Spirit said get from among them, I'm going to get from among them. Because a lot of us walking around here, our children of God, we're hating and envying us. These, these spirit of religion people. But that's what they feeding off. They feeding off the, the, the envy and the hate. So that's what they that's what they getting fed with. So you, what you get fed with is what you're going to put out. 
spirit of religion people. They all, they judgmental. They always um, got their mouth on somebody gossiping and doing all kinds of stupid stuff instead of going spread love and do the work of God. So you, you recognize the jealousy and envy spirit. When you see it, you even going to come against it or you going to get from amongst it. Because it's going to, it's going to, it's going to be like a maggot. It's going to infest, infest it. What they say? One bad apple. Come on, Holy Ghost. One bad apple. I'll spoil the whole, the whole bag of apple. You don't want to sit up under it. If you don't feel like you can take the one bad apple and, 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 and redirect the whole crowd, get from under it. That's, that person not coming from God. They say sometimes cut the poison off. Nowadays, poison spread into, deep into the root of things. I ain't too much for cutting poison off no more either. So with that being said, that's my word for the day. Jealousy is the father of murder. You can murder someone physically or you can murder someone spiritually. But you do answer to God for it. You're not going to go around, hate your brother, hate your sister, commit murder, whether spiritually, physically, or come against or speak poison over somebody because they being blessed. And God, you're not going to answer to God. Not going to happen. And just one more thing. Let's go back here. Make sure you ain't sowing seeds that's going to touch your kids later. You want the seeds of goodness to touch your kids. Not the seeds of badness. So you need to be rebuking the devil. That ain't of you. You want to you wanna protect your kids. The devil, the devil had no shame of messing with kids. As you see, when Jesus was born, the wise men went to find Jesus, but, but they, um, but the call was came came out because they couldn't find Jesus. The call came out to no, it wasn't the wise men. Well, the call came out to kill every every newborn at the, in that age range. The devil don't care. That's why you gotta keep your life right, cause the devil don't care how he attack your children. The thing that's closest to you, he will, he will attack. Don't give him no room. Jealousy and envy is not of God. Jealousy and envy is not of God. Alright, so that's my word for today, y'all. And uh, I'm going to get ready to go to therapy. I'm so sick of this. But I'm almost finished. They said four more weeks. Thank you, Jesus. Because uh, they said they can't do no more for me. But when they get to that point, that's where I depend on God. Because what the devil meant for bad, God is going to work it for the good. Because now, I'm mad. I'm tired. Tired. I'm tired of fighting this devil. So he's just going to push me forward. I'm not going to fight you no more. I'm going to be strategic with it. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight the devil no more. I'm going to be strategic. And strategic means keep going forth. Say resist the devil and he will flee. That's with everything. Even down to jealousy. Resist the devil. Rebuke him. And, you, and you'll stay free. So with that, I'm constantly resisting the devil from everything he's trying to send to me. Because I'm not, I'm not going to be bound. I'm not going to be bound. I've been in the bed sick twice where I couldn't walk twice. I'm not going back that route. So when this is over with, I'm going to do me another long tone fast. Ask God to touch my body from the head to my, to my foot. Fix me. Put me back in order. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, not, I'm, I'm going forward. I'm going forward ministry full, 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 full flat. I'm not, I'm not turning backwards. I'm not looking to the right. I'm not looking to the left. I'm going straight. There's people out there that's waiting on me. Then I'm finding out with the last fast that my calling is not for me to just sit still. It's international. So now that's why the devil has keep trying to stop me from walking. But I rebuke that and plead the blood of Jesus over that spirit that's at work that's trying to abort the plan of God in my life. I'm not something for that. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior for a reason. I fight. I gotta fight everything. <laughs> so the jealous, jealous person or whatever, they come in my life, they gonna get the fight of their life. They don't know what left them, what hit them when I get finished with them. Like one person, I know they spoke curses over me. The Holy Spirit said, send it back. Next thing I heard, they were saying that someone did this to me. No, what did you do to me? I sent it back to them. One thing about when Satan is not successful, he come back, and he come back worse to you. He'll kill you because you didn't do your job in stopping me. Let's just kill some of them demons by not allowing them to do their job. And kill them. Satan going to kill them himself. Not allow them to do their job. Not allow them to attack you and use you. And sitting up under you. 
So Satan will kill him himself. Satan don't have no respect to person. Like God loves his children. He'll always be there for us, never leave us nor forsake us. This Satan not doing that. He not doing that. He is not God. So let's let's resist the devil and he'll flee. That go for that envy spirit or whatever. You rebuke that. Keep rebuking it. Oh no, that is not me. That is not me. You're not you're not gonna use me. You're not gonna use me. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna go off now. I forgot to get ready to go to this doctor. So, y'all have a blessed day. And read the word. Listen to this again. Play it over and share it if you can. Share it. I don't never ask to share my videos, but y'all need to share my videos because I ain't talking for nothing. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all. See y'all next time. God, give me a word. Now, this word was on the jealousy spirit, the canker worm of the soul. You hear that? It's a worm in your soul. You ain't going to get no peace. There's no peace that come with that. All day, all night, you thinking about what somebody else getting blessed with. You have no peace. So rebuke that demon in the name of Jesus. I love y'all. Talk to y'all next time. Oh, I hope I'm not live, y'all. I'm trying to... I'm not, I hope I'm not live. Oh, I am live. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to figure out how to save the Instagram, which is say I don't have enough storage, so I got to put a card in there, SD card. So I'll do that when I come back. Sorry, y'all.